and uh, we are King of Holy Cross. And uh, I want to do something special with it tonight. So what we did, we did a bottle of wine for him because he taught at Holy Cross from 66 to 93. And then he was out of teaching for a while. And then he, we resumed teaching, he was with Brother Mark. And I'm associated with Brother Mark pretty heavily, plus a graduate from Holy Cross. So what we did, we did a bottle for him. So if uh, somebody can come up Accept this. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. So it has the two logos on there for the years and years. Classmates, we do this every uh, reunion, and uh, there's no set criteria for this. This is basically anybody that's done a lot for the school, that has uh, that done a lot for the community, or whatever, or just great person in general. So we try to do two people each time. In the past, the first time we did it, we did Jeff Junker and Dan McGovern. The next time, the next time. <laughs> And then we have John Castatori and Bobby Poche. The last time was uh, Vincent DeSalvo and Al Perry. So we try to cover as much ground as we can sort of thing and uh, it's just a way of saying thank you to the people for what they've done. So today we have two we're going to honor. We have Mr. Pat Wolf. How much you owe him? Alright, the next person also has done a lot. He's done a lot of work in uh, in getting this reunion together and you know on the uh, on the side that we don't see. And that's Mr. Roy Scott. Roy? Oh, Sure. 
and the ability to change. Although you didn't look at it that way. Said, when the hell am I getting out of here? <laughs> but I want to thank you for that. It meant a lot to me, especially in certain nights overseas. So I appreciate everything you've done and everything you did. And now it's time for all of us to pull over and let the next, next gang give it a try, right? Thank you. Come up 
he's got a few words to say about the uh, upcoming uh, 50th. So, John, if you land on right here. First of all, I do want to thank uh, Doug Deegan because if anybody wants to know anything about historically about Holy Cross, any photos or anything, I don't know where he finds everything, but he's the guy that found these picture photos. Yep. So, Doug, thank you very much. For the 50th, you know, we, we were a year out a little bit more than a year, but we really want to kind of gear up because I don't know if, if everybody's been to a graduation, but when it's an anniversary year like we'll be coming up to in 2021, uh, we get to go across the stage and get a golden diploma. It's really, really neat. And I think it's no big deal, but when you're there and you see everybody doing it, it's really neat to say, hey, we're going to be there in another year. So it's coming up very quickly. So we really want to kind of push. That's why we've kind of been trying to do these things so we can gather more people. And because last year the class that guy, they had almost 100 people there, and I would love to see us have at least about 100 or more, and and walk across the stage and get our golden diploma. So I'm that the cost. was that. <laughs> it's free, Louis. <laughs> but what I'm going to do about the way. What's that, Louis? It's really, it's really neat. So you know, you kind of go up there and just like you got graduated from we were 71 grads, we'll get our diploma going back. It's really nice. You get to sit on the floor with the graduates. It's really, really nice experience. But anyway, so what I really wanted to do was um, we want to kind of begin to gear up. So I really want to make everybody available. If anyone wants to participate, I thought what we could do was to get some ideas when it's our year to come up. Uh, what do we want to maybe do on a Saturday night after we, you know, experience gotten out the diploma? Tommy you know, says Tommy we wants not to have it here. To, to attend, so Tommy doesn't want to have it here. So we know that much that we're not going to do it here because we want him to be able to participate and have a good time. So I thought what maybe we could do to initiate some things was maybe Jeff's been uh, our go-to person. Maybe people can send some emails about what ideas you think might be good. Once we get some things, I thought maybe we could kind of get together, maybe here and meet. Uh, for those who want to participate, so we'll send out some emails and just get some ideas so we can kind of think, what can we do? Because, uh, well, of course, Friday night we'll meet, and then Saturday, uh, usually after the graduation's over, there's a little ceremony uh, in the administration building for us, and then we'll want to do something, you know, Saturday night. Some people express interest, maybe do something on a Sunday also to see families. We don't know anybody's families, so maybe we want to try to do that. That's why we want ideas. So if everybody could, could at some point in your spare time, maybe get an email together or two and send it to Jeff, then we can kind of get some things, and then we'll send out another email and try to have a meeting and discuss some things. Yes, ma'am. I'm just going to say, find out, I don't know what we're going to do, but I know what we're not going to do. Because that particular Sunday, May 23rd, I graduated from Cabrini. He was graduating from Holy Cross, same day, same time. I couldn't go to his, he couldn't go to mine. So, you know, Cabrini's planning the same thing. So I know what we're not going to do, we're not going to do it on the same day. <laughs> we're never going to do something on Saturday night for sure. What that might be, we don't know, but that's why we want input. I, want, I don't want to exclude anyone. Everybody to give us their ideas so we can, you know, figure out what what we may want to do. And when you said that, I lost my, my train of thought. I was going to say something. I forgot what I wanted to say. That um, happens at your age. But I also want to do something for the wives or spouses because I think every time we've gotten together, I think the ladies have really enjoyed being a part of this. And I notice as I look around, everybody is kind of mingled in things. So on that Friday night when we're doing our thing, I want to try and put something together and uh, have something somewhere for all the ladies to attend while we're kind of doing something on Friday. We'll get something together for, you know, for the ladies. So uh, I know my wife, Shirley, won't have a problem with spirit having something like that. Uh, and I'll help her put some things together. So even while we get the ideas together, get some ideas from the ladies too, what, what maybe y'all might want to think about doing so we can include y'all in this thing also. So that's all I really have to say. And um, I appreciate everybody's time. It's great seeing everybody. And uh, let's have a good time. We can't talk about it. Thank you all, everybody. Thank you all.